Hi guys, it's Matt here from pilotpracticeexams.com where you can half the time it takes to get through your exams. Now, let me give you a quick video on using an electronic flight book to rapidly study and how you can really use it to, you know, find some stuff that would take you a lot longer in the textbooks. Um, and we're talking about the high level stuff, the stuff that you're having a lot of trouble with and the stuff where you're looking for the actual AIP on it. This is really, um, PPL students should be all over this, and this is going to help RPL and RALs. As well. So for those of you that are going to go on and do navigation, which is most of you, um, you're going to end up buying an electronic flight book anyway, probably, okay? So an electronic flight book is basically Oz Runways or Avplan, there's a few others out there, but they're easily the best. Now, what they allow you to do is basically they've got all your documentation in it, so they have URSA, they have the AIP, they update, so it's actually worked out way cheaper. Um, and they also have all your maps and they have moving maps and the GPS and you can plan your routes and you can get fuel costs. They, they basically do everything, weather, weather overlays, etc. So, and I'm not affiliated with either of them, so there's not a sales pitch or anything here. This is just pure getting you to pass your exam faster. So what I want you to do, um, the, it, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is this one's Avplan, right? And I've used both and I like them both, right? And you can see all the documents listed there. So you got the AIP, the supplement, okay, URSA, da -da 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 -da, all the way down, CAs, CRs. Now one of the things that it's brilliant for is you can just tap on them. So if I, for example, if I tap on the CAOs, okay, it brings up a list of the CAOs and you can scroll through them and see what are the CAOs for, okay? Um, you know, the CARs, you can go in there and you can click in them and have a look. Um, the CAPs, the same, you know, it's got them all listed, what CAPs there are. They're really handy for you learning to learn, you know, because CAS are like, you know, it, they've got these documents and it's just, it's honestly, it's ridiculous how much they have. But for us pilots that need to pass exams, we don't need to focus on it being ridiculous. We need to focus on being able to find stuff amongst this mess, this huge jumble of information. So one of the fastest ways that you're going to learn what's in each document is by grabbing a, um, an iPad or a tablet or whatever with Oz Runways or Avplan and jumping in the documentation where you can quickly look what's in each. Okay, because it will cost you a lot of money and get you, a, uh, and it takes an incredible amount of time for you to get all that any other way. So I suggest if you don't already own it that you either buy it, okay, or that you borrow someone's and have a good, really good flick through it. Now, the second aspect I want to show you about this is that you can use it to find stuff really, really fast. Let me let me give you an example of how you can use it to find stuff really, really fast. So I go to all the documents now. It helps if you use your head a little bit just before you use the search function because you can narrow it down because the search function digs through all those documents that you have downloaded. And by the way, that's the other thing. It only digs through the ones you have downloaded. So you've got to download all the ones you think might be relevant. And then what you do is you use the search function if you don't know which one it's in or preferably if you can think of which one it might be in, you click on that and then you use the search function. Now the search function is just that little hourglass up the top and I'll just throw a search in now um, just to show you what I mean. So if you want to look up, say, pen pen, and you want to know the procedures for pen pen, so you type it in, and it's just literally going to bring up hundreds of results, pages and pages through all those documents. Okay, I'm scrolling through it now. You know, it's still going, still going, still going. I reckon there's about, say, 200 mentions there. So I need to be more specific. I need to find the one that I want. Now, this is where you use your head a little bit. So basically, um, the main parts of the documents is made up of laws, which you can say the, the AIP, um, and then they're sort of scattered through the CAO, CARs, CAPs in their advisories and stuff. But so the two main documents you're going to use is AIP to look for rules and URSA to look for procedures. So anything that is going to help you in flight, for example, finding a runway number, finding a radio station, how do I do this, how do, how do I know when to call Brisbane, that's all going to be in URSA. So what you want to do is, you see, flick into URSA, because pen pen we're going to need in flight. So we need to know it's in URSA, because we're going to need it in flight. So you go into flight into URSA, and then you could scroll down and find out which one you thought it was in and go in there and then do a search. Or you can just do a search 
Now it's already up there because I previously typed it in the last document. So when I, and now that I'm in there and I press search, it narrows it down a lot more. Okay, and it brings up um, the the mentions just for that topic. Now when I click on it, okay, it takes me straight to it. So it's a way of finding where the information is and then going straight to it really, really quickly. So what I suggest you do is you use the iPad or the tablet or whatever you've got with Oz Runways or Avplan and dig through all the documentation until you learn your way around. Okay? Do some searches, look through all the categories of contents, have a bit of a read, skim read that is. Okay? And then, once you've got a really good concept of where stuff is, then you would only use that um, once you're qualified and you need an AFB or when you want to search for stuff. So, for example, say you flick through something and you can't find it or you're, just, you're struggling with this question, you think, where is that information? Go and use that technique that I just showed you. Now, guys, you're not allowed to take in electronic flight books into your exams. You're only allowed to take in what's on the list. And so that would include things like the AIP, the URSA, but it depends on which exam you're going in. The RAL's rules have different rules to the RPL, which has different rules to PPL, which has different rules to the PPLH, helicopter, uh, CPL, etc. They've all got different equipment lists. You need to check them carefully and find out what you're allowed to take in. And then what you do is you need to learn the physical location in those documents, the, the AIP or the VFR guide or the URSA. And be careful, you're only allowed to use a specified tagging technique. You can't like mark every page. You can use highlighters and things, but you can't like tag every page with little slips of sticky tape or paper or whatever else. So you've got to stick to the rules. But picking up that and learning where everything is is really going to accelerate your learning. So I hope that's helped. Matt from Pilot Practice Exams, where you can pass your exams in half the time.